guys welcome back to a new video so i got a lot of comments from you guys asking to do more videos about my school like college related videos so i decided to do that for you guys today i'm gonna do tips for college type of video and i'm really excited because i know that i um had a lot of trouble adapting and kind of getting used to the whole college like routine and like the amount of homework I'm getting and the anxiety and the stress like it's all just a lot to take in but it's okay do not get scared I'm here to help you so I created a list of things that I think um, would be important to talk about in this video and some tips that I think will benefit you for you guys so yeah let's get started um, someone asked me um, if it's less competitive than other schools false this school has a higher acceptance rate than other UCs because it is a brand new school as I said and the reason it has a high acceptance rate is because they want the school to be bigger they want their community to grow so they are trying to accept as many people as they can um, so that is why the work is just as hard so don't fall under that misconception so the first thing I want to talk about is the food so um, at UC Merced, we have only one dining center. They're going to be opening a new dining center. So those of you that will be coming here in the fall or later in the years, you guys are lucky um, because it's going gonna, gonna to be a brand new DC. And I've heard there are going to be more restaurants available for it. But as of now, it our dining center sucks. Like I remember the first week, I was like, oh my god, this is so good. I love the pizza here. And I literally cannot even stand it anymore. Like I actually like hate it. I can't. Um, but a tip for you guys is to bring a microwave, a toaster, anything you can that is going to help you survive here because I literally, all I eat is a cup of noodles as I mentioned before, um, ramen, peanut butter sandwiches, cereal, like name it, like anything like that is, it's very important to bring it because I know you're going to get tired of the dining center at any school and so you're going to want more options like me like I'm always hungry like at 11 p.m. so I just eat some cereal I eat ramen like anything like that is really good to have in your dorm the next advice is relationships and I'm not talking about boyfriend girlfriend that type of stuff I'm talking about relationships with your professors and your TAs now I want to emphasize the importance of this there are certain benefits that comes with being really close to your professor and your TA. In my school, the classes, the lecture halls are about 200 to 300 people, so it's kind of big, but your discussions are smaller. And the good thing is that these professors have office hours, which you can go to. And if you're like me, which I suggest you should do, is you should go into their office hours. Trust me, it helps. They remember, they know your name. They know that you're putting in effort. And at the end of, at the, at the, end of the semester, some professors give, um, they round your grade up based on your performance in the class. I, I think it's very important to do that. I know last semester I had an A minus and my professor, the one that I would always go to, ask questions, go to office hours, bother him literally like, just annoy him with questions so he knew the amount of effort I was putting into the class and he ended up rounding me up to an A which is perfect so that's kind of those are some of the benefits that come with having a good relationship with the professor also your TAs so in UC Merced you have a lecture and you have discussions with the TA so if you have a good relationship with the TA the TA will work with you if you're anything like me um, having one-on-one -on -one time with your professors and TA will help you so much like I need that type of attention like not, not like that but like in a lecture it's like I get pretty in intimidated to ask questions in front of a big lecture but after class I always talk to my professor the next tip I want to point out is stress okay so stress is one of the biggest things that can make you go insane so for example last semester I was the most stressed out person ever I would literally stress out over a midterm two weeks before it even happened like it was really bad it got to a point when I was really depressed and super it was just bad so I think the number one thing that you guys should all know is to put aside everything and give yourself at least one hour a day to relax enjoy yourself and you know so you won't have to stress out I know I usually um, give myself at least an hour to like eat watch Netflix and like just so I can relax. I also at night just try to like not think about school, be in bed, watch Netflix. Don't stress out. I'm gonna connect this with my other tip which is your health. Your health is very very important especially your mental health because when you're stressed 
you get depressed or you get homesick and you get really bad, you will start doubting yourself and then you just start thinking that you're incapable of doing work. So do not do that. Trust me when I'm telling you, if you stress out too much, you're going to start putting yourself down and you're going to, and your work is going to reflect on that. So do not do it. I know I was really stressed out and I started telling myself that I couldn't do this. I started telling myself that I was incapable. You cannot think that way. You need to be really positive. You need to motivate yourself because you're your own biggest motivator and you need to remember that. You need to remember why you're in college. If you tell yourself three things that you're grateful for, three things that, that you've accomplished every single day, I promise you'll feel much better about yourself and you'll feel more productive. Sleep is important. I, I know for me, I need to get at least eight hours of sleep for me to function properly because last semester I got no sleep. I rarely ate and it was really, really bad. So do not get to that point, trust me you're gonna be really upset and it's just bad now I went to a stress counselor which is one I wanted to cover also in this tip is to use your resources that includes going to office hours going to counseling if you need to talk to someone about your problems like honestly you need to use the resources you're already paying for such an expensive school so you might as well use all the resources you can to help you the key to being productive is waking up early. If you wake up at 12 o'clock in the afternoon, the day is shorter and you're not gonna feel so tired and you're just, you're just gonna feel so unproductive. Trust me, that's real, <laughs> so do not do that. Wake up really early. I already have early classes to begin with, so I just wake up, I start my day early, and I finish I pretty much around like 11 so that I shower and then I just go to bed. I'm really trying to emphasize the importance of sleep. Please get some sleep or you will not survive college. The next thing I wanna talk about is scheduling your time. So I know for like, for like midterm season, you have about two or three midterms a week. So it's really, really important to schedule your time to when you're gonna study for each class. If you have a midterm on Tuesday for math and you have a midterm for bio on Friday, try to study for math first and study for bio, but then after your math midterm, have some time to study for bio and that's it, you're good. But you need to schedule your time because if you um, prioritize one class only, then you'll forget about the other one. So the grade for math will go up, but then your grade for bio will go down. So make sure to prioritize both classes. Do not forget about the other one. The next thing I wanna talk about is roommates. So I know a lot of people are scared about the whole, oh my God, what if my roommate is a crazy person or what if I hate my roommate? So that is not gonna happen. So basically you're allowed to choose your roommates. And I know, and I think in every like, when you get accepted into school, there's like a Facebook page where you get to meet people and you get to ask them whether they want to be roommates with you and most likely you end up with a super cool person that's exactly like you. So I know there's a difference from liking someone and being friends with someone with living someone. But honestly, um, I mean, my two roommates, we get along really well. There aren't really any complications and it's very important to have communication with your roommates. Um, for example, um, we always talk about some problems, we will work it out, or also with our sweet mates, we've also had some problems, but we always talk them out, they're fine. It's just communicating with them so you guys all feel comfortable in the room. That's really all there is to it. RA wasn't really too active with us, but I know a lot of them will help you out in these situations if you have any roommate problems. They will definitely help you resolve them and I think you can also like, um, you can also request to switch roommates which is something that you can do if you're having major problems with them. But I think overall everyone pretty much likes their roommate or are able to live with them so I wouldn't worry about that too much. Back to using your resources, I want to Give a shout out to my mentor, Connie, who has literally been there through everything with me. So if you go to UC Merced, I know there's, um, it's called the Bright Success Center. And what it is, is this a mentor program, which that first years get to pick a mentor and those mentor mentors help them throughout the whole year. They schedule meetings every week and they help them with any type of problem, whether it be personal or it be school related, anything, they'll help you, they'll give you resources, they'll give you information. My mentor was the person that helped me deal with my anxiety, my stress, my homesickness, literally everything. So she's honestly someone really special who I admire and I'm thinking of becoming a mentor hopefully my junior year because I don't really have time next next year since it'll be probably my busiest year but I really recommend you guys going on the UC Merced website and searching up success mentor program because it would really benefit you like I'm not even lying like if you have problem controlling your own issues they can help you they're so nice so sweet so supportive so I really recommend you guys go check them out I'll put in the link down below if you guys want to do that so the next thing I want to talk about is um, homesickness so I know I'm only like five hours away from LA but to me like I'm very really close to my family so 
and it's really hard. I know the first day when um, I came here and my parents left, like it was the most tragic thing ever, so extra. I was literally in my room by myself because my roommates didn't come till the next day. So I was sitting in the dark alone, crying in like 115 degree weather. And then I went to go shower, started crying, and then I literally forgot that my friend from high school came here. So I called him up, I went to his dorm, he helped me. You know, it takes a while to like not feel so alone. You'll make friends, and as the time goes by, school really gets way too busy for you to even think about like missing your parents. Of course I miss them and I talk to them every day, but the thing is, I don't get as homesick because you you have chances to go home. You have spring break, you have winter break, and of course you can like go every two weeks or something if you want. Like maybe the week before midterms, you want to go home, rest up, you can totally do it. Or they can come visit you also. They're better off with you in college. Yeah, they're gonna miss you, but they know that you're doing this for a better future and that's all they want from you. And they're gonna be more mad at you if you drop out of school just to be with them. So remember that, just stay in school, be happy that you're able to learn and take advantage of your education because not everyone has a chance to be at a really good school. Getting involved. So getting involved is really important because I know when it, when okay, so when it comes to like graduating and getting internships and research opportunities, you need to have a lot on your resume. So some people are busier than others, so they may not have as much time as other people to go to clubs, go to organizations, you, you know what I mean? So what happens is, for example, I joined a few clubs and I went to a, the first two, three meetings, but then once after school started getting, you know, piling up, I just couldn't go anymore. Club that I'm most like active in, I guess, is the physics club. This past Saturday, we went to Yosemite actually, and we hiked like at 12 in the morning, and we watched the meteor shower. It was amazing. Should I hear at UC Merced, we don't have um, housing for frats or for sororities, but it's also, they're also more, they're not the stereotypical frats that you watch in movies, like don't worry, they're not. Um, there's also professional frats, which are just frats that are professional, but they kind of focus more into the major that you're going for. I'm thinking of joining the, the frat for engineering just because I think it really benefit me with meeting professors, getting research opportunities, and just having more things to put on my resume when I'm ready to graduate. So definitely get involved. It'll change your life and you'll meet a lot more people. And that's another tip. Have fun. You're Okay, going to college is going to happen once. I mean, you can go to graduate school and stuff, but what I'm saying is you need to have fun. You can't have a college life and be sad, be stressed all the time. Do not be like me. Like, have fun because you're meeting so many people. You're getting such a great education. You, on, on weekends, you know, go to a party, go hang out, go get ice cream, go watch a movie. Like, have fun. That's the biggest important thing of all because if you're in college being stressed out all the time, you're not going to enjoy it. You might as well take advantage of this opportunity and enjoy. My biggest tip of all is to appreciate the education that you have and take full advantage of it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want any more videos like this, please let me know in the comment section down below. I also will have linked down the peer mentor success group if you guys want to get a mentor, those of you that are coming in as a freshman next fall. And I hope to see you guys. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. I will walk you through anything. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. But yeah, I have finals in two weeks, so wish me luck. Hopefully I take my own advice. Enjoy your summer. Those of you that are planning on going to college, don't worry, everything's gonna be okay. I'm here, this is me, this is the aftermath of a crazy year, so you got this. Do not worry, do not cry. Tell your parents how much you love them because you're gonna miss them once you're here. And eat all the homemade food you can because you are gonna miss that because there's nothing like home-cooked food. I'll see you next time in my video. Thank you so much again. I love you guys so much.